This is my fourth clean energy forum and it's pleasing to see how it's evolved over the years to the point where this year there's pretty well no paper, which is good, very IT oriented. Um, I'm here to speak about the Philippines and how it is meeting the need to address both the traffic and the pollution problems of the country, which have been going on for years and unless something's done about it pretty quickly, it'll go on for a further generation. We have a range of electric vehicles which are designed not to just lower the cost of um, pollution, but also to make sure that the vehicles are affordable for what is a very, very large group of um, users. Um, some four million people rely on public transport through the operation of jeepneys, multicabs, taxis, tracks. We have a replacement vehicle for all of those and the government fortunately has a policy of replacing those vehicles depending on their age and that is now mandated in law and the execution of that with those replacements is underway. Um, it will take time, I don't think it's going to be a, a one-stop, one-year wonder, it'll probably take about 10 years to do what is effectively 4 million vehicles. 3 million of those are trikes but they are the most polluting vehicle in the Philippines by for sure. But the problem with electric vehicles worldwide is how far can you go on a single charge? and we address that by putting the charger on the vehicle. So, so long as that charger has fuel to run it, it will enable the vehicle to go without stopping. There are instances in Philippines and other countries where vehicles only go 40 kilometers, they stop, and then passengers have to get off because they've got to get to work. That's not the answer for, for an electric vehicle to be a functional um, operating alternative to what is an ongoing diesel or gasoline vehicle. Uh, we have our technology proven, we will be bringing our vehicles here in uh, late autumn this year um, and we've already started in uh, Visayas and Mindanao with other related projects for the replacement of uh, dirty old polluting vehicles.